Guys, I want you to take a look at what just happened. Remember that video about Kenya and the protests and how many people died? I think it was 22 people that died in it. Check this out. The guy killed the bill. Deadly violence in Kenya threatens Rudo's American dream. Check this out. The people won. Watch this. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little bit of background here as to what all happened in Kenya. You do know that the U.S. and Kenya has great relations, especially with what's his name? Uh, his father was Kenyan. Uh, and so uh, it says here, President William Ruto's action came just a day after violent protests against the proposed law swept Nairobi and 22 dead and hundreds injured. And so if you continue on down here, you're going to read how that unlike previous demonstrations in Kenya, the anti-tax protests were not fueled by mobs of pu poor people, right? Tattered shack dwellers. I actually saw them. They were wearing Adidas. They were wearing Nike shoes. They were young folks. The news called them Generation Z, and they were not taking it anymore. Look at this. It's even validating our story. Wearing Levi jeans, Nike sneakers, okay? People whose salary checks would have been most affected had Mr. Ruto passed the finance law. But this is what I want you to know. He couldn't pass it, right? So there were demonstrations, and there were even people screaming, go live in America. <laughs> they wanted the whole world to see this. You can fight back and win, Okay? And there were some devastating things that were going on. So my heart and prayers go out to uh, the Kenyan families. Okay? Uh, but you know the U.S. Okay? U.S. and Kenya. Mr. Ruto made a visit, a state visit, to Washington a few weeks ago. The first by an African leader in 16 years. He was entertained at a state dinner. Okay, and we're not going to continue on with that, all right? We, we know who he contacted and everything like that, all right? Uh, but watch this. I want you to see it with your own eyes. So it seems like he wanted to continue to be friends with Washington and didn't want to scatter that relationship. So that, that's most likely the reason why he walked it back. A senior Kenyan government official who spoke with the Epic Times on condition of anonymity said Mr. Ruto had spoken with several high-ranking American officials, okay, following his strong June 25th statement. They urged him to walk back his fighting talk, right? Now, they didn't ask him to withdraw the tax bill, but they did appeal to him to do all that he could to avoid a repeat of what he saw on Tuesday. So that's most likely the reason why as well. But guess what? That would have never happened had the people not stood up. Now, we have a great history of these type of things working to change principalities and powers, to change the government officials' minds. We can do it in a way, because we've already had a revolution here in America, we can do it in a way that's intelligent at when, and with coordinated action plans. I think that this is a great example of what happens when people band together and say, we are not going to take it anymore because he killed the bill. You ever heard of that movie, Kill Bill? I think there were two, two parts of it, right? Kill Bill. They killed the bill because they stuck together. And so as we as Americans stick together and are coordinated on our action plans and do what is necessary legally and ethically, this nation will see new heights that it's never seen before. And we're actually already in the midst of a greater revolution that we've ever seen. God bless you. Let me know what you think about this. You take care.